Welcome to Real Truth Real Quick. My name is Rick Smith. I'm here with Todd Wagner. How you doing, Todd? Yes, you are. Hello, friends. How you doing? So listen, there is a passage, and Paul says that we are to have our life hidden with Christ. What does that mean? Yeah, we do on Real Truth Real Quick lessons about life, leadership, and the world we live in. And if you want to understand the world we live in and what your life should be like, you got to know God's Word. Also, this is a great little phrase. It's tucked right there in Colossians chapter 3 um, that is a good reason why you don't memorize one Bible verse because it's kind of confusing. What do you mean my life is hidden with Christ? Um, it also says when Christ is revealed in glory, then you will also be revealed in effect in the glory of your decision with him. So what's all this mean? This is a great opportunity to dig in a little bit. So let me just quote to you Colossians 3, really 1 through 4. It says, if then you've been raised up with Christ, keep seeking the things above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Uh, set your mind on the things above, not on the things that are on the earth. And it says, for you have died, and here it is, and your life is hidden with Christ and God. When Christ, who is your life, is revealed, then you will also be revealed with him in glory. Now listen, this is a great place for folks to um, watch because if you are a person who decides you want to follow Christ in this life and the world we live in, there's going to be a lot of people who look at you and go, what are you doing? Why are you a slave to the God myth? Why are you somebody who is um, saying no to the uh, desires of the flesh? Why are you letting your life be influenced by these crazy ideas? Well, listen, Paul is writing and saying it's not a crazy idea that life can only be found in God and that the uh, fullness of the revelation and the kindness of God is made known in Christ, who is the one that one day every knee will bow before and every tongue will confess that he is Lord, he is King, and his way Okay, the way of God manifest through Jesus is the way that men should live. All right, that ultimately is what this verse means. It means that there's going to be a day when the world's going to see that you are no fool. Right now, Paul wrote when he was writing to the Corinthians, he said this, if our gospel is veiled, in other words, if people can't see what we, with the eyes of faith and the kindness of God letting us see, if they can't see what we see, the gospel is veiled to them, to those who the scripture says are perishing who aren't moving towards life, but are moving towards judgment and death. In whose case, verse 4 of 2 Corinthians 4, the God of this world has blinded them so they may not see the light of the gospel, the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. Let me tell you something. There's going to be a day when they're going to see who Christ is. And when Christ is revealed, that he is King of kings and Lord of lords, that, um, that when God... Uh, declared with power that he is the son of God, as it says in Romans, you know, through the resurrection. And you now who believe in the resurrection, who believe Christ is the visible image of the invisible God, there's going to be a day when the world goes, you were right. What I couldn't see, all right, the glory of your understanding, I see it now, okay? And what Paul's basically saying to them is you who have come to understand who Christ is, Okay, um, as it says just a, a chapter before in Colossians chapter 2, it's a, it's a huge passage. It says, all the treasures and wisdom of knowledge are hidden in Christ. All right, so not just you, but all wisdom. I, I love the statement that is that no man is uneducated who knows his Bible and no man is wise who doesn't. You've got to know God's word and know who Christ is or you know nothing. In fact, the entire chapter previous to this, okay, in uh, Colossians chapter 2, Paul's walking uh, them through and he's just saying, listen, don't let people tell you that, um, that there's some other thing you need to seek other than Jesus. And so he just walks back through in verses 8 and 9. He says, don't let people take you captive to vain philosophies the best ideas of men. He goes through, he says, don't let folks drag you back to legalism or religiosity. He says, don't let asceticism, which is self-abasement, don't let that come into your life, okay? The worship of angels or visions or things that men tell you they can see. If you know Christ, you know everything you need to know. And so what I would tell my real truth real quick, friends, is listen, um, exactly what Paul did. If then you know who Jesus is, okay? And by faith, you're now risen from the, the way of man that seems right, but in the end is going to lead to death. Walk in the newness of that life. And so he says in Colossians 3.1, keep seeking. In other words, have a faithful seeking um, of the kingdom of God and the things that you know to be true, all right? He says, set your mind. In other words, have a faithful focus. Be dedicated to um, living as if you know what the world will, one day will see which is that Jesus is Lord, 
and he's the king of kings. And there's going to be a day when the world's going to go, you're not a crazy fool. You're not some person deluded. Um, you are an individual who saw the only thing we're seeing. In fact, Paul says, live in such a way, or actually Peter says, live in such a way that's so excellent that in the day of visitation, when Christ is visibly seen, they will thank God for you because you have lived before them as a manifest testimony to the reality. This is a big deal for us Christians, all right? Um, Colossians 2, the, verse, the last verse at the end of Colossians 2, right before he gets to therefore, since you know this, live this way, he says this, um, there are lots of things that have the appearance of wisdom in self-made religion and self-abasement and severe treatment of the body, like uh, not eating certain things or not doing certain things on certain days. Those look like spiritual things, but he says those aren't spiritual things. They have no value against fleshly indulgences. What Paul wants them to know is if you know Christ and you seek him, it's uh, the only thing you say no to is immorality and the love of the flesh and the way of the world. And people go, why would you do that? Answer, because there is a God that we're not only culpable to, but that his way is good. And so it's hidden right now because we can't see with physical eyes what people uh, who have, are people of faith, who are no longer deceived by the God of this world, have come to see. And so Paul's saying, keep seeking and keep focused on this. And your life right now is hidden a little bit. The full glory ahead of you is hidden with Christ, but believe me, that glory is going to be revealed, and when Christ is revealed, your glory will be revealed with him. So stand firm and stay faithful. Great stuff, Todd. Well, listen, one of the best ways you can get to know Christ is by reading your Bible. So we have an episode, What Book of the Bible Should I Read First? Mm -hmm. So if you, if you haven't dug into God's Word, that would be a great place to check out. We'll put a link there in the show notes, and we'll see you next week on another episode of Real Truth Real Quick. 